Welcome back to this channel. Today we will be finding out what has been the evolution of webcams from past 10 years. So my partner in crime has been sick for a while now, so I need to do this video by myself. That's the reason why we only have one camera for the setup. And sadly she won't be commentating this time. But what about what we are doing? This is the MX Brio, a brand new model released about a week ago. And we will be comparing this 4K model to the industry standard, the C920 Full HD camera, which has been available for over a decade. And this has been the go-to camera for streamers, office users, everyone who is looking for a good Full HD webcam. Uh, this is still available. And in my opinion, this is still one of the best Full HD webcams that there are available. But then, the Amex Brio was just released. Uh, this goes up to the 4K resolution. The Amex Brio has some interesting qualities comparing to the old one. Of course, the technology has evolved in 10 years. So we will be doing unboxing for this and then we will be doing some real-time comparison to the old standard. Let's start with the unboxing. The camera itself. Uh, the material is different. This is full aluminum case compared to the old one, which is basically just plastic. This weighs a lot more, but it feels a lot heavier. Uh, the one and a four inch connector is directly into the bottom of the camera, so you can use this to connect that to the mount, if you have such. I can already see that there are dual microphones. Ah, privacy shutter in the mechanism, so if you are really one if you really wanna be sure that no one is watching you, you just have to change it from the ring. Then this is the stand itself. Hmm. Ah, it has a it has a magnetic lamp, so it will click on to this. Oh, and this one also tilts a little bit more. If we have a side-to-side -side comparison. You can see that the Brio is tilting way down more than the 920. This is something that we will test later on. There's the manuals and well you know that we don't really need those. That's a hefty USB-C USB-C cable. So the old one has only USB-A connector. Which is which has been standard for 10 years, so nothing new there. Uh, the new one also has detachable USB-C cable. As the old one, you can't remove the cable, but that's the difference with the with the new one. So you can remove it, which is quite good if you need a longer cable, for example. All right, good. Unboxing was quite easy. Next up, I'm going to connect them to my PC and run them side by side, test the microphones, and you can see the difference what it actually is. Okay? The C920 is this one. And the MX Brio is this one. I will add in the title so you can always see which one I'm talking about. Uh, currently I'm recording from the microphone of the MX Brio. It should uh, do noise cancelling, so there's actually construction outside, so hopefully that will block the noise out from that. Uh, the image settings are on default. Right away you can see that the image is sharper and it's, it, the lights are correctly shown in the MX Brio con, compared to the C920. 
as the backlight compensator is much better. The image is more clearer also. You can actually see the couch behind me very well. And important thing to notice is by default the field of view. So how big of an angle the camera is capturing is much bigger on the MX Prio because you can see actually the side of the other sofa. Both of the cameras can be used from the Logitech Tune software. Uh, the MX Prio also works with the, uh, the Logitech G Hub, which is for gaming software. So if you have a gaming keyboard, uh, headset, mice, you can control them from the same software. Okay, now let's firstly dig into the settings of the C920 and see what we can work there and what kind of a improvements we can make to the image quality. Okay. Now we are using the microphone of the C920 and the image is only from that camera. Um, as you can see here on the right side, the, software is, uh, the camera is controlled by the Toon software, which uh, currently is not so with the preview because I'm taking the image to the OBS software to show you the things that you can do in the software. First up on the main, main screen is Zoom. Whoa, well. That's digital zoom for you. Uh, image adjustments. Uh, autofocus was on by default. Exposure low light compensator was also on. And contrast can be changed. Yes. Saturation. Mm, yeah, sharpness. Oh, well, cold. That's better, more soft. And there are filters that you can change here. Basically, just predefined settings. Yeah, not much. So you can. That's all you can do from the software. Uh, but let me check if I can change the lights on the room a little because now I have the top lights on and the sun is behind me directly so let's fix that a little well the backlight is still very strong here and the camera can't do much on compensating that like I said it's a 10 year old camera so harsh lighting settings are tough for it yeah. Okay, let's switch to the Amex Prio. Okay, now we are using the Amex Prio and the backlight settings are same as where we stopped with the C920. So right away you can see that the backlight issues from the sun or low, low light doesn't really affect here the image quality. <coughs> but Let's check otherwise the settings. Uh, like I said, you can use the Amex Prio also in the tool software. The settings are pretty much the same, but uh, you can also also use this on the G-Hub, which I'm using currently. <laughs> Zooming goes a little bit further, yeah. Uh, here you can actually change the field of view, what I was talking about earlier. So if you want to narrow it down, you can use this to cut extra pieces out of the stream or the conference. You can ch change it whichever way you feel like. Uh, there are default settings for zooming and view and so everything like that. Uh, exposure. Auto exposure if I take it away. Ah, then I can manually change the shutter speed. Yeah. And I can change the ISO levels also. There's quite a lot of changes. And you can actually use HDR here on, on the Prio. Putting it away. Well, that's a huge difference. That is something that the C920 doesn't have. Yeah. Uh, 
I will put, put it back on auto. Image settings, auto balance, white, auto white balance. Now we can change the temperature. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tinting. Whoa. You can really get into the groove with this one. And the same settings as with the C90. But the vibrance is new. Ah, okay. Nice. That brings out my shirt nicely and my eyes. All right. Uh, focus. Auto focus. If I turn this to manual. Ah, yeah. Much softer. Overall, auto focus it is good for pretty much anything that you need. Good. That's about it. Let's go back to the main view. Okay. Later on the same evening. Uh, we can see that when there is no massive backlight, the C920 still works okay. And well, there's a difference, of course, with the Amax Brio, but it's not bad as it was in the sunlight. Just for your reference. Okay, before finishing words, let me talk, talk a little about the show mode. You can flip down the leg of the Brio so you can show what's happening on your desktop. Let me show that. Just kind of like this. Sorry, I wasn't <coughs> cleaning the desk. Uh, so you can, if you want to show you what you're drawing or what the document you're working on, you can send, use this to show, show that image. Uh, most likely useful in education or with artists. One important note is the stand is quite small. So if you have an ultra curved monitor, the stand, the leg behind the, uh, the camera that is clamping on to the monitor, the area of the uh, contact is not that big. So in ultra curved monitors, uh, the monitor, you might require putting some extra innovation of making sure that the stand will stay on the top of the screen if you are using it on the show mode. Because I did it a few times with my camera, so without making secure that it was actually, so it was really well uh, clamp it to the monitor, the stand flipped down and the camera fell, fell down on the, on the test. Just something you should keep in mind. Overall, you can see the difference in <laughs> over 10 years. It's much. The C920 is still a freaking good Full HD camera. But in early 2024, if you're looking for the best possible camera, for PC, at the moment, I do believe that the MX Brio is the one you should go for. That's it guys. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye.